Bob. Two BYU grads are hitting it big in the men's shoe business. Pretty amazing, considering they had no experience in the trade. Dan Rascone takes us inside the story of the booming success of Taft Shoes. Yeah, Shauna, pretty amazing here. Taft Shoes went online two years ago this month. They had a big splash selling a couple hundred shoes a month, but now they're selling thousands a month, making it a multi-million dollar company. In a small nondescriptive office in Orem is a company with sales that are soaring into the millions of dollars. Their product of all things. So this is our black Rome boot. Men's high-end dress shoes. This is our best seller. That come in all different. Troy boot and olive. Shapes. This new shoe that comes out next week. And style. And then we have a fully woven shoe, the Sinatra, which is really amazing. It's a product. It was never on my radar. The Stevens, both BYU grads, never thought they'd be selling one day. I just wouldn't have believed it because it was just so far from what we imagined our life plan would be. And shoes came out of nowhere. Man, we should order more. Corey graduated in linguistics, oh Mallory in English. But for so, most of Corey's life, like I won best dressed in high school. He's always been a shoe guy. I was like 15 buying like two pairs on eBay a week. <laughs> this is the tennis sneaker in white. That's uh, when he learned the hard movies. lesson. I get to wear all the samples. So. Of overdraft fees. And they were like, $1,200 in overdraft fees. <laughs> and, and that's kind of how I realized how bank accounts work. After graduation, a trip to Europe inspired them to open up a no-show socks business in 2014. A year later, they dropped the sock business and went exclusively with men's dress shoes, which they designed and developed from scratch, and then are made by shoemakers in Spain. Our socks were, were good, but our shoes are great. And, and we all of our products need to be consistently top quality. The first year they did over half a million dollars in shoe sales. One year later, they are now doing over 10 million. That means they are selling thousands of shoes a month. It's a huge deal. At one point, the ultimate goal was a thousand dollars a day. That would have, now, we would have been thrilled. Now, if they are under five thousand dollars a day, oh, it's a, it's a, it's going to be a bad day. What's wrong? Is the site <laughs> down? You know. In fact, the shoes are selling so well, this little office has to go. Next month, they plan to move into this office space, which is about five times the size of their other one. The Stevens admit the men's shoe business is a very competitive and saturated market. But they believe success comes from great customer service and quality. If someone's going to give us $200, I want that shoe to last them for as long as it possibly can. You can't find our shoes anywhere else. Whereas most of these bigger companies kind of produce generic men's staple pieces, we produce uh, you know, the shoes that are going to get you a lot of attention and a lot of compliments. That's why they believe this is just the beginning of TAP. We have the potential to become a, a brand and a dynasty and a legacy um, in all sorts of product categories. Yeah, pretty impressive. Now, Taft shoes range from $200 to $300 a piece. The name happens to be the middle name of one of their two children. For a link to their website, go to our website, KUTV.